The Commerce Club was packed on Saturday night for a gay and lesbian dance party similar to this one. Just after 2am, the music stopped, the lights came on and 40 police stormed in. We were told to stand where we were, um, don't move, don't talk, hands on our heads like this, or if we're near a wall, face the wall, hands up on the wall. That lasted about at least half an hour. One by one, the 460 patrons were taken to the toilets, where they were strip searched by police. Then he said, strip off, and I thought he was joking at first. So I stripped off to my boxer shorts, and I said, do I have to take these off as well? And he said, no, just drop them, turn around and touch your toes. Police described the operation as a success, saying they recovered large quantities of drugs like amphetamines and heroin. Eight people were charged with drug offences. There was absolutely no suggestion whatsoever that uh, this visit had anything to do with the gay or lesbian community of Melbourne. This was just a normal police operation. I'd like to know why other nightclubs on the same night weren't raided that weren't gay clubs. This was definitely the target of a homophobic police exercise. The operation took almost three hours. I believe that uh, members of the public who were subjected to this detention and uh, strip search may well have won civil action against the police for uh, false imprisonment and for assault and that also it's possible that the police ought to be charged with criminal uh, offences for, again, the same two things. The legal service says laws governing police use of strip searches are limited. They plan to lobby the state government to make it mandatory for police to obtain a magistrate's court order before they can strip search any member of the public. The setback for Alexander